Hello. Today's job <clears throat> is I'm now going over all of this again. All of it, cleaning it all up. Getting it so it's flat, nice. But what I have decided to do is where I've repaired it there, I'm gonna cut all that out and do the same side on same as what I did on this the other side on this side because I'm not happy with it. But you live and learn. And now I'm gonna go and do the work to that and get all that cleaned up so it's tidy. So this is what I'm doing today. Because the weather's not bad, nice blue sky. So and I've uh, been grinding all of this up and I've been putting more thicker wilds in because I've turned the wild up even more so I'm now getting some really big beads and I will uh, seam seal all of this I've got some stone chip for now so I'm going to stone chip, clean all this up, stone chip it and then move on to something else so that's what I wanted to update you with so, I'm going to clean all that up and I'll be back when I've done some more. This is where I've got to. This is where I've got to so far. I've got my flat discs and I'm just sorting all of this out. I've flattened all of these. All the spot wilds are flattened. I'm just going to put a bit more wild in there. And then I'll flatten that. Fill in these little holes here flatten them and then this bit's done a lot of work is starting to be getting done I can actually move the whole car with this <laughs> right, I'll get back to you when I've done some more this bit's done now. It's all seam sealed. Right across. So that's done. This side of the vehicle is done. I've still got work to do under there, but I'm gonna do that in a bit. I just wanna to get to the bulkhead. So just wanted to show you this. And I'll be back with you when I've done some more work and then I'll give you a, an end result at the end. Sun's out today, so that's all done. I've cut all that out right up to there because it's not right, and I didn't want all these patches here. So I'm going to make a new one of them now and get that in. There you go. And I'll be back with you when I've done some more. Actually, I'll show you the other side. That's all seam sealed. And ready to be a bit of stone chip put on it for now. While I'm working on the rest, or some primer for the time being. But with a short line. Hello. Been out here all day. Done that side. It's all in seam sealer, ready to be sprayed. I've now been working on that side. I've decided to replace that end piece. Been cleaning this up. Got rid of all the filler and decided to weld a bit more and put some fiberglass fiberglass uh, filler in there with the fiberglass matting. Uh, now I've got this end piece. That's got to go back in. On the passenger side, but I've just been cleaning it up now and I've got to um, put some brush treatment in there and primer that, primer that before I put it back in because obviously it's going to be difficult to get to that. This is what I've been doing so far. I've got a few more welds to do now. I'm going to put some seam sealer on, it's lined up in there, ready for the lip to go in like I did on the other side.
So that's what I've been doing today. I'm cleaning up in here more. Gotta finish up in here. Got some seam sealer down in there. That's it so far. The wilds are getting good penetration now. They're coming through the other side. Because I up the wilder power. So this side's done. When I take that pillar off, I will put new lip on the pillar and it'll go over this. Well, I am trying to decide whether to leave this open at the minute because it gives me good access to in here. I'll decide in a minute. That's it. I'll be back with you shortly. Is it so far? Seam sealed. Bit of fiberglass filler. Seam sealed. I've started redoing all the work over there. Because I wasn't happy with it. And now this. Now, I was going to put this back on the top rail, but then I thought, hold on, it gives me the perfect space in here to work to start getting all this filled in. So I'm going to complete this side first and repair that. I've now got all that's welded in, I've just got to grind it. I've now got a place for this lip when I remake it on this post will run over the top of this again like the other side I've made the most of today because today has been fantastic weather so it's quite late but I'm not doing anything with that yet we even use fiberglass in there, as I said, on there, because I've re-wilded it all, thicker wilds. I'm just about to put a bit of primer on this section, on this section, and I'll be back with you when I've done that. Hello, I've put some uh, filler and some stone chip on it. Just to protect it. This is what it looks like so far. Obviously I will be cleaning a little bit of that up when I come to weld the top lip on. I put some in there as well to protect my uh, seam sealer and weld. Well, the seam sealer basically. That's all done there. And in there, that's done. So basically all this is done. All that's done. Obviously, when I start working down here, I will do the same down here. Do all of that. When the post is done, I'll do all inside the post. So that's where I'm at at the minute. Some expensive stuff, that stone chip is. Obviously I'm going to do all in there with it once I've finished cleaning up. I've had enough for today. I've done loads. And obviously I've got to build this section. But I won't be doing that until I've done in here. Obviously I haven't done anything with this yet. But uh, that's where I'm going to tackle next. More than hopefully tomorrow if the rain's not uh, coming down. I've put some fiberglass filler. I got rid of all the other filler. I put more welds in. Now I've got the settings good on my welder. And use some fiberglass filler, which has got the strands in it. So, a lot more stronger. That isn't going anywhere. And don't forget, I've also got a brace behind there on the inside metal brace that I made. But basically it's a strip of metal welded on 
for extra support, which I'll seam seal. I've covered that in the fiberglass as well. I've put some more welds in there and all. So, I've just got all that to grind. I've got the inner lip part of the weld on here. Gonna cut that out, but I need to undo some of the spot welds under there. Now, a question for everyone. You know that you unspot weld the top dash, top section of the dash, can the bottom part be removed without removing this? Comment below, because I'd really like to get on the inside of here without having to take this out yet. Um, so I'm curious, does it separate or does the, off, the whole top and bottom come out as one? Make my life easier if the bottom section comes straight off. I've already done undone the bolts in the inner wing for the um, dash. So let me know. So this is where I'm at. Um, everywhere I look now, I'm starting to see less what rust. I'm hardly seeing any rust in here now. Even down there, it's come up clean. I've rust treated it, grinded it. I've just got the front section all down there to do, but I'll do that when I get to the front of the car. This is where I'm at. That one's done, and the other one's very close to being done. Obviously, there's no holes in the wings no more, in the wheel tops no more. So, I'm really pleased. I mean, that come out beautiful. My wilds, if you look at them, under the finger, if you look at my wilds, they are massive all the way across. I managed to get a bead all the way across. Spot welded there, all the way across there. Hello, you can see my reflection. So that side is done. Obviously I've got to grind a bit off the top here for when I weld the inner wing, uh, inner wing tops back in. But I am so tired now. No holes under there, look. So the tubs are actually repaired. These are all repaired, ready to be stone chipped. Bit of cleaning up here and over there. <sighs> so I'm just gonna go and clean up and then I'll give you a, a final look one more time. See where I'm at. That is simply just to protect my seam sealer. But this stuff you can paint over the top of this. So when I get my Cosmos Blue, I'll just spray it over it basically can't beat having extra layers I'll clean up and I'll be back and show you uh, one final look hello yep just wanted to show you one final thingy after I now cleaned up the front's looking good because I've, I have been cleaning in here all the rust gone as well so I'm primed it yeah in there it looks good ready to be primed and now, places like this, I am going to stone chip because it all primer and stone chip because it helps protect it. But I really don't think I'll be having matching colour anyway in the bonnet. Or if I do, stone chip you can paint over it anyway, so with the Cosmos. So, all it's waiting on now is me sorting these wing tops out. In there, rust treated it, cleaned it. That'll be going back on. Well, half of it'll be going back on the other part I'm going to be repairing. But obviously, first, I want to do in here first. I want to be able to get to it. But there's that and that, and obviously, this. And when I've sanded that, sorted that out, I'm going to be primering it and stone chipping that. You can't beat a bit of extra strength. Well, but look how good this looks. Remember how rusty all this was. That's all ready to be uh, sanded, primed. Look how good that looks. All that I got back to bare metal and then primed it 
Um, what was I? I'm nearly hitting 500 subscribers. So it looks like that will be one of the other things getting ready to be done. And I will be getting someone to hold the camera for me so you'll get to see the first spin over and everything. I don't want you to miss anything. Also, I have been listening to my subscribers. <laughs> like, I've been told to use Seam Sealer, which I was going to do anyway. But the bulkhead, not to use normal filler and to use fiberglass filler. So I got all the filler off and I re welded some of the things so I'll get some thicker beads in there. That is solid, they ain't going nowhere. And then I used the fiberglass, which is a heck of a lot better. Once I clean it off, it'll be going. Once I fix that corner, once I fix that and this, and that, and that, this whole thing will be going black, stone chip. And then that'll be done with. And the other thing is, the good news is, is that I've also got a 2.3 rear axle and half shafts. So I've got to go and fetch that at the end of the month. I've already paid for it. Um, I've also bought my centre chassis for inside, the middle chassis. So that'll be another job I'll be doing. That means my car won't be in half no more. So it's really looking good. Rust treated and everything. I know I'm going to be cutting this out, but <laughs> I'd had enough of the sight of rust. So next time I come out here, which hopefully will be tomorrow, that side will look like that side. And then the only thing I've got to work on is those bits there. And uh, this. It's amazing that I can look at it now and not see any odd, well, I don't see any other than a rusty engine. But other than that, the rust is gone. It's all being rust treated. I'm just using flat discs now to take that paint off and then primer in it. I'm going to clean this up as well. But again, the rust has gone off there as well. No rust in there. The only thing I've got to clean up is where the radi radiator goes. And I've got to fix my front valance. But other than that, <laughs> I think I've got a long way since I've had the car. I mean, I've got to move on. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything and it really does help. Also, believe it or not, it's... I'm enjoying doing the YouTube bit as well. It also motivates me. So fix that. Fix that. And do all that in black. And let me know about the dash thing. Can the bottom section of the dash be taken off without removing the top section or does it all have to come out as one? Please comment below. Thank you. Bye bye. See you in the next one.